All right, guys, check it out. This is the Mini MJX Bugs uh, 3, and I have an FPV, uh, FPV camera on there. All I've done is I've connected it to uh, that small piece of foam there. It's double-sided stick foam, and we stuck it right on top of that. And then I just went over the camera with a little bit of tape because I'm going to be flying in snow, and if it decides to do a nosedive, I don't want to damage my camera because it does get pretty hot, so it probably melts snow. Um, that's the battery that I'm using. It's a, I believe, let's see what we got here. We'll zoom in on it get in on it and I believe 520 milliamp an hour uh, 3.7 you can see the wire that's going to it the wire that's going to that and that wire goes to that which goes to the back of the camera that's all you have to do I can connect this setup on anything but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you the flight that I did I was using my uh, maker fire goggles and uh, enjoy guys all right guys here we go so this is from the camera I'm using an AKK all-in-one mini or micro camera or whatever you want to call it i got it on amazon it was pretty cheap i believe it was under 20 dollars. maybe it was a little over but it was definitely under 30 dollars uh, this camera gets good range it also takes good video um, and sends transmission to my goggles pretty well too i'm not using high-end goggles i'm using a set of maker fires that work really well too and we're really not going for uh, a burner flight here it's freezing out it is literally like 12 to 13 degrees fahrenheit out with a 10 mile an hour wind uh, for the majority of this flight i am going to be in the first speed setting and then towards the end of it i actually do turn it up into the second speed setting but uh we're again just nice chill flight trying to get a feel for the sticks with this bugs uh three mini uh, i had the bugs three the regular size one out with uh mjx's fpv setup which didn't get great great range so we're doing this with this one and i again I just really want to get behind these sticks. I really want to be able to control this and know that I'm going to be able to control it that way. As you see where we just were, we were just over the playground. I've flown FPV over there with some extremely toy grades. I want to fly this over there. I want to fly this over there, sit down on a bench and actually do a burn, like rip around and tear around and fly through gaps and whatnot. But before I do that, I want to get some experience behind the sticks. Uh, as you can see, I'm going up a little bit in altitude, but I'm not screaming super high. Uh, I'm also, uh, on times, going a little bit away from myself. But again, we are not pushing, pushing the envelope here. One, it's super cold. Two, I'm dealing with a 10 mile an hour wind. And three, just trying to get a feel for this drone. Every drone operates differently. A lot of people ask me, a lot of people ask other members in Drone Days, if you don't know what Drone Days is, it's the best Facebook group for drones plain point period um a lot of people ask why do you have so many drones as well as other members i'm not the only crazy person in the world that has tons of drones and drone days you can notice other people that are definitely drone addicts um why do you have so many drones well they all fly differently and to go from a to go from like a zero one one zero or zero eleven flying fpv to going to something like this it's going to fly differently it's going to respond differently it's going to handle differently that's the reason why i'm trying to get a little bit of time behind the sticks before i decide to do a full-fledged fpv flight and try to get some really impressive footage uh do i think this footage is impressive not really again chill flight super cold dude i'm freezing where i'm standing i mean granted i'm dressed pretty warm and there's a little uh playground that i'm t t telling you about here uh generally i don't know if you're going to be able to see it that bench to the left generally that bench to the left is what i sit on when it's warm out obviously it's not warm so we're not sitting i'll just stay in the middle of the field and freeze a little um again this is the mjx mini bugs three uh as a 500 and change milliamp an hour 3.7 volt battery on it with a micro camera on top of it it's having zero issues flying with this but do note this is not a full flight time test i will bring this down upon uh indicators going off one because i'm cold and two because i don't want to i don't want to have the drone drop out of the sky say being over those trees and whatnot and really pushing the envelope with uh with the warning it does the warning when it does go off it gives you a lot of time on it and uh it's also cold so whatever flight time i get i'm going to be happy with because then i could get in my car and i could warm up and whatever flight time i do get prior to that beep warning you you could probably increase that by two to three minutes if not more because again i'm almost in single digit weather here I, i'm in freezing weather and that affects lipos drastically so uh and we're really not we're really not heavy flying this if i was putting a burn on this like actually super flying this in the second speed right we might get a little bit better flight time because the battery would stay a little bit warmer as we're flying but again 
kind of just chill flying, trying trying to get a feel behind these goggles. Guys, I'm J Drone. I'm on Instagram too. Uh, my Instagram.com will be down there. DroneDays.com will be down there. And uh, MJX's.com uh, will be down there too if you want to check out what they got going on. And we're just going to land this here. I'm trying, uh, trying to get a good glimpse of myself prior to sitting this down. Just kind of panning around myself that way i could pull a still which i've already pulled a still it's on my instagram it's also on drone days so if you want to check out the still that i pulled uh right before i hit the ground here is actually one that i pulled you can pull stills from your video all you have to do is uh pause your video take your uh snipping tool on your computer crop copy paste bam done um i do that all day all right guys fly safe take care